Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tate's Good Barbecue. What I have for you today? Today we start the exterior prep on the Yoder's YS640 pellet cooker. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, so those of you who are Yoda owners, you know at some point you're gonna have to paint. Um, if you don't, you didn't do your research before you bought it. So I knew this going in that I was gonna need to paint it. So looking online, all I see is basically touch-up stuff. And I like to watch a lot of videos, and these, it's just a little touch-up. And you'll see some, a couple other videos out there, good videos on touch-up. So a couple things that stand out in here to me, they talk about 120 grit sandpaper and also 150. Now that's probably good for touching up, but if you see the video that I posted last week, and I'll put that in the link below, I tested out an orbital sander on my old cart and it worked just great. Um, no, I was worried about swirls and it's swirling on me. Didn't see anything. I'm using the 120 grit right now so we're going to try that on the front, which is going to be covered um, by my front shield there. So we'll test out there, just make sure it works again. And uh, hey, let's get rolling. All right, here's what we have here. So I got my instructions. I got a scraper. I'm just going to try to knock off all the loose stuff first. You know, a couple sanding pads here for the front. Definitely leather gloves are key. And then my... Uh, my orbital sander here. So we're gonna get started on the front and see how she works. All right, before we get started, let's just do a little quick walk around. So my front hammered pretty good. Got some here on the box. And again, I'm doing a whole, whole thing here. Off subject, but finally got the sink working today. Yeah, there it is. Brian Adams got a trampoline. Oh, happy days. Can't wait for winter. So one thing I forgot to mention here, you're going to need some citrus cleaner and some rags. So what I did is I, you saw me scraping that down on the outside. Now I'm gonna just really uh, get it cleaned up best I can before I start hitting it with the orbital sander. Let's keep going on the front. All right, let's kind of wrap up here on uh, night one of this. Got the overhead lights going, but not real happy yet with the front. Um, still got some work to do. I went, I'm looking, went up to the hardware store looking for like a, uh, some type of rust stripper, but I got this little drill attachment thing. I'm gonna have to put it on a more powerful drill to see if that works, but I'm not afraid to take this down to bare metal. Go around on the right side, worked like a champ. Again, that's the orbital sander with the 120 grit sandpaper. Got a little mark there, I can buff that out for paint. And the back side, back side turned out pretty good. Got a couple, you know, where I had to get that rust out, that worked just fine. And I had some rust along the top here too, but I took that right out. I guess I got a little bit over there in the corner. But hey, that summarizes night one. 
when we get back at her. All right, night two of the project here. So picked up some rust remover for the front. And while I'm letting that go, basically you spray it on, brush it, rinse it off in about a half hour. Um, I'll also be dismantling my uh, pellet hopper box components. This works perfect for that. So on to fast forward, let's keep rolling. Alright, so something you might not have picked up in fast forward, I removed the fuse from the front of the pellet hopper because when I go and put the Y640 onto the comp cart, I need to relocate this over here anyhow. So, just a little preview of what's to come. All right, here we go again. Night three. So I'm still working on this front. I've tried just the orbital sander, some sandpaper, some rust remover. I haven't got it yet. So I can't find my drill. Kids lost it somewhere. So I cracked out a belt sander. Again, not recommended. This is my grill. I'm doing it. Don't know if it's going to work. Don't plan on destroying it because I've been hammering down with some sandpaper on this thing. It's like a tank. So, but again, it's not recommended by Yoder or anybody. This is just me doing my thing. So don't do it if you have any concerns. There's my disclaimer. Alright, I'm calling the front good. I don't know. I just... I got a little bit of it off, and I'm not even sure what it is anymore. But it's smooth as a baby's bottom. We're just going to call it good. All right, day four, away we go. All we got left uh, to prep is the lid and the smokestack. And we're done though. All right, well, we made it through the prep portion. Now it's on to the paint, the fun stuff. I still have a few spots I'm not 100% you know, satisfied with. I may touch those up a little bit more. But that front was a real pain. Um, so I guess we'll see how that ends up turning out after the paint. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like. I'll put a subscribe icon for you. Right about there. Another Yoda video. Right there. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.